in a little bit of a side note, I also had a tweet years ago that talks about the idea of removing all of the minor subjects altogether. In that tweet, I said that college would probably be way faster because you wouldn't have to take that much units anymore. College would be much more cheaper because you don't have to enroll into a lot of minor subjects that you think you don't need. And at the same time, college would be much more efficient because you don't have to jam your brain power into something that you don't think you should be memorizing or learning in the first place. Of course, as a citizen of the internet, I thought that that idea was so original until I found several articles and several creators talking about the exact same sentiment. And when I said that, I said that in no way to be able to disrespect or discredit the professors that are teaching those stuff and the subject itself. But for me, it has its own pros and cons. We know that Steve Jobs took on typography classes during college, even though it has nothing to do with his course. But it is something that he has used in Apple computers later on. Probably there are dozens and hundreds of stories that's going to tell you that they met their significant other in this one subject and this minor subject, or probably that they found their calling through this minor subject. But I guess for most of us, our minor subjects, while it is good and sometimes fun, it is something that can be seen as an excess. It could be seen as something that we should just take if we really want to take them, and it shouldn't be compulsory. And if you are going to warrant to them to take on these minor subjects that seemingly has nothing to do with the course that they took, then it only prevents them from being able to achieve the things that they want to go to faster, more efficiently, and better. And so yes, even if it has good intention, that good intention can sometimes become a deterrent for them to actually achieve their goals further in life. So what do you think about it? So I think that, you know, these minor subjects, they're still important. You can learn them in high school and you probably still learn them in college, but not as a compulsory subject. This could be something that if you really want to pursue them, you really want to enroll in them. Yes, you can enroll in them. But for me, for it to be a prerequisite for you to be able to advance in college, I don't think that's practical. Especially today that college and universities are now competing not only with college and universities, but online college and universities and online courses that can actually give you the step-by-step -step process in terms of how you're going to get from point A to point B. Of course, not all careers fall into this category. There are still a lot of careers that where in you still have to learn them offline and face-to-face. Another idea that I'd like to be able to share with you guys is the idea and the notion that perhaps in the future, most of the things or most schools would not be full face-to-face -face classes anymore. And it would probably be a combination of hybrid classes all the way to fully online classes. Number one, it's much cheaper. Number two, depending on what kind of student you are, it would be much easier for you to be able to just repeat the course lessons over and over again until you get them. So another idea that I'd like to be able to discuss with you guys is the idea of online versus face-to-face -face learning. Now, if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that online classes and online learning is a very feasible subject or an idea. We've already seen how it has already been accepted by companies because they've hired graduates from the face to, from the online system and they didn't say to them, oh, you graduate from an online system. I don't want to get you. I don't want to hire you. No, they still hire them, which just shows that online learning is a very feasible thing. It's a real thing. And it's not just something that we did. Because if you think about it this way, when was the standard school system created? It was created during a time where there was no internet. And the closest thing to information next to school is probably learning it from someone who is smart. And the next best thing is to learning it through books or public libraries. I actually tweeted a similar sentiment to this one years ago, is that back then, the advantage of people is in terms of whether they have a good public library system or not in their neighborhood. Now, because of the internet, that advantage is now gone. 
students might opt out to do online classes so that they could have more time doing other things and extracurriculars rather than sitting in class for hours on end and maybe learning something and maybe not learning something, which is, to a lot of people, a good waste of their time. Again, I'm going to tell you that there are intangibles that you're going to learn in school in terms of social dynamics. You're also going to learn how to interact with people. You're also going to learn how to present yourself, how to carry yourself, all of these sorts of stuff. Mingling, networking, joining clubs, learning a new skills, finding friends, and to some people, meeting the love of their life. All of these things are the intangibles that you cannot deny that the face-to-face -face system has that for some people they would rather just get the learning that they need get the knowledge that they need and finish school as fast as possible and get to their career as fast as possible so yeah do you now see the dichotomies between those two things of the things that i'm trying to tell you between face-to-face -face and online systems for you what do you think now the next question is do i want a online system from preschool all the way to college and the answer is no because i think that in terms of preschool to elementary all the way to high school it should be face-to-face -face, no doubt but in terms of college and depending on the career and the course that you're taking i think there's a lot of course that could work very well online if you're that type of a student and there are also courses that could not be online at all. We're talking about subjects like law, medicine, and engineering, all of those sorts of stuff and many more. But for a lot of courses, for a lot of careers, I think a lot of them can be learned online. So yeah, again, I think that from preschool to elementary to high school, it has to be face-to-face. -face. And in terms of college, it could be online. So yeah, that's pretty much it for episode number one. And so if you watch it as a whole or you watch it in snippets, I'd like to be able to thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.